is Ludwig with another Corona tutorial and this one is going to be dedicated to creating carving materials. Uh, it's going to be divided in three parts. In this first part we are going to take a look at how to create some basic carving materials. Uh, in the second part we'll take a look at how to create some advanced peril carving materials. And in the last part we're going to take a look at how to create some carpent flakes. Alright, so uh, for this first part I've gathered uh, some references, uh, pre-images of some Mercedes car paints. And uh, these are basically the paints that we are be trying to recreate. Okay, so I've already set up a simple scene. Our good old Mercedes model. And as you can see, it's just some simple studio setup, uh, but uh, the objects with uh, carpeting materials have assigned uh, just a simple white diffuse materials. Okay, so uh, the most simple uh, carpeting setup I can think of is uh, using just two layers and a blend material. So uh, this is this is what we're gonna try first and. We're going to try to recreate this nice red uh, little metallic car paint. So I'm going to grab a blend material, drop it in here. I'm going to delete these standard materials. I'm going to grab also, oops, I'm going to select by name, select all the, all the objects with car paint and assign the blend. Now I'm going to get current material. Uh, the material one be, will be our base layer and let's duplicate it and uh, the material two will be our code so we'll just set it to diffuse to zero we'll set reflection to one and final IOR to maximum value uh, so that we get basically just a mirror okay let's plug that in as well now let's also get a fall off map and uh, plug it as a mask and uh, set set fall of type to Fresnel and for the coating I would use something like uh, 0.4 also right now uh, this implies that uh, our clear coat is 100% reflective but in the real world nothing is 100% reflective so let's maybe decrease it to like 220 the white color of of the uh, of the fall off okay so our uh, our uh, clear code layer is pretty much set up and all we really need to set up is our base layer all right so uh, in order to do this kind of metallic paint, uh, we basically want our base layer to have just reflection, no diffuse color. So let's just set diffuse color to zero. Uh, set reflection amount to something like, um, let's start with 0.5. And let's decrease glossiness to like some, something like 0.4. Alright, and now uh, since this is this is metallic, it's going to be something like metal. So let's increase from IOR to something like four, maybe, and just uh, take a quick look around the car, how it looks. And now all we, all we need to do is just uh, tint the reflection. So maybe go like 240. And uh, let's check how our our car paint looks so let's just increase the reflection a little bit and decrease the glossiness check again maybe boost the reflection even a little bit more we have a little more contrasty setup than than what's what's in on the picture but uh, we can already see we are getting quite close so basically using glossiness we can we can control how metallic the paint is if we want more of a even paint not very metallic we can set glossiness all the way to zero if we want very metallic paint we can we can go like 0.5 and we can see it looks very shiny so to match our reference picture let's go 
with something like 0.3. Uh, index of refraction, Fresnel index of refraction controls basically uh, the intensity uh, or uh, the dependence on uh, on the viewing angle of, of the car paint. So higher values will make car paint more even, lower values will make car paint uh, to show more on the on the grazing angles and not so much uh, when viewed from from the uh, when viewed uh, directly. Okay, so to match the car paint on the picture, let's put it back to like six and maybe just tweak the color a little further. Increase this even more. Oh, just like this. And we can also try to boost the diffuse error so slightly like this. Yep, so looking around, I think we are pretty close. Of course, uh, there's also some Photoshop color correction maybe on the on the picture. So to get something similar, we would have to boost the contrast and also have better lighting setup. But you can see we are fairly close to the to the picture. Maybe just decrease the saturation slightly now that we have boosted the contrast okay i'm gonna set uh, set contrast back to something reasonable all right so this is this is it for the for the red car paint for the metallic one we would basically just uh, decrease the final IOR slightly. We would kill the diffuse. We would uh, make this silver, so uh, the reflection would not have any any saturation. And again, uh, if if there's still uh, too much contrast in the reflections, then you can use the diffuse to to make it a little more dull. So uh, the diffuse level, basically, the higher you go. Uh, assuming you have set the right color, the uh, the more dull will the paint appear. So here we want to go. Maybe uh, maybe also make the reflection a little bit more smooth, not so not so metallic. But again, I think we are pretty close to what we are seeing over there on the picture. Okay, and the white one or creamy one that's that's easy as well so again it's very very dull it's just maybe a little the color is like like this and again I'm gonna duplicate the color and boost it with diffuse slightly And here we may may want to make coating a little more prominent, like this. Okay, so again, our our lighting setup is is a bit different. So uh, we may not be seeing the exactly same thing, but again, we are pretty close with the with the car paint as you can see it's all about all about tweaking but again uh, the diffuse increasing diffuse makes uh, makes car paint a little bit dull uh, make, makes reflection slightly less prominent uh, glossiness is sharpness of, of the secondary reflection so if you have really metallic paints you can crank it up if you have more dull paints you can reduce it uh, reflection overall that's just uh, if you have for example a really dark gray car paint then you might need to decrease also the reflection to something like 0.2 so it shows just slightly like like here you can see 
Okay, so uh, this is it for the for the setting up of the basic car paints. It's just simple setup, one mirror material, one fall off, and uh, one base layer. Uh, and in the base layer, you are tweaking diffuse level, diffuse color, reflection level, reflection color. Uh, here, reflection level, reflection color, uh, Fresnel IOR, and glossiness. And uh, combining all these parameters you can get some really nice car paints. So see you in a part two where we'll take a look at uh, parallel car paints.